This time I know Yo, what is up guys, um, today I'm gonna be making the tutorial on, um, the Yarn and LMG K-Shock wave that I made yesterday. Um, normally it should be when I got 240 subs, but, uh, I'm gonna make it, uh, anyway today, cause, uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't really have any other idea. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's just get right to it. Um, the first thing you want to do is just, uh, drag in, um, a clip, of course. Uh, so I'm just gonna use, um, this one. Uh, the same one that I used in, in the video. Um, so just gonna, and then, uh, find a song too. Uh, just gonna use, um, I have let you. That's, again, the same, same song that I used. Oh. The same song that I used in the video yesterday. Um, so just first of all find the beat. So it's right here, and then go to the beat, place a marker. Might might just have to go one ahead, place it there, and then find where you get the kill. So right here, I would say, maybe here, I just here. And then do maybe just do like this, and then fade this in and this too. So now you have something that looks like this. This time I know, I know. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna add some velocity. Um, go into retime controls and add a speed point on the marker. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen frames back. Place a speed point and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames back again. And then make this fifty percent. This 200, and then one, two, three, four, five frames, and then make this 202, and then change this to 50. Uh, what you want? What you want to do is go into retime curve. Uh, I think I like uh, having the velocity not on 50 but on 60 instead. So just like this, and then fade this into. You can do that, and then. Just drag this up, and then you have uh, velocity. This time I know, I know. Yeah. All right. Now what you want to do is we should drag in some sound effects. So just cut it here, and then I have a high quality pump sound, and then and just make this. Then I will make this uh, maybe f yeah minus four might might do it. This time I know, I know. Yeah, that's good. All right, now now comes the hot part. So in the description, I have a overlay uh, linked, and it should be in here under effects. Um, so it's this one. Yeah. Now what you want to do is. Click on it, go to composite mode, and then change, go all the way to the bottom, change screen, and now you'll have this. And the next thing is go and cut this. Wait, we might actually, because the shockwave should start with the, so right here, right here should start. Then cut it right here, and then go into this. And go color, and then you make, need to make sure that you're not on a shockwave, but on a kill. Uh, not the kill, the clip. Then click on this, press Alt L to duplicate it. Then change this to monochrome. Make sure it's the first one, and then just keyframe uh, correct the one and two. And then add a circle. Oh no, gotta go to this one before you add the circle. And then. Drag this, uh, this red one, do like this, and then drag it all the way in. And then you go one frame ahead, and we might need to adjust it so it looks like this now. And then one frame ahead, one frame ahead, and you just kind of follow it, follow the shockwave. So, once you've done that, you are good to go with the shockwave. You have something that looks like this. That's a really good start. Now, for the saturation buildup, 
you want to find a place where you want the uh, the build up to start um maybe it should be like i like to you oh i would probably do it when he is out of the cone so right here and then just place a marker and then oh, i gotta zoom in on this and then uh keyframe correct the one and then just do something with this so that the two dots dis uh, appear and then just change to 50 go to the end and change it to 5 and then you'll have this, this time I know, I know. so yeah all right next thing is go into this clip right here and go into fusion and then i'll have another preset preset <laughs> preset in the description called shockwave glow so just drag that on and press shift on your keyboard and drag it on and then you'll have something that oh that looks like this so it's like a glow thingy so that's good maybe just change change this to 1.8 and there should be a glow inside the shockwave and next thing <laughs> it's a lot of steps but um i'll have another preset in the description it's the same one for the yarn impacts actually go into add an adjustment clip it needs to be under this because if not there will be a shake on the shockwave too and that's not that that uh, should not happen um Go to the start, and uh, it will be the second impact called RGB Shake Setting. Drag that on, and shift on your keyboard, and you will have something like this. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so, once you've added that, you want to go into, uh, drag this another one time up, and then go and add another adjustment clip. <laughs> And then cut it like the other one, and then add uh, a thing called I uh, see if I can find it called box blur, like this. So it looked like this, and then change this to 0.2, uh, maybe just 0.21 actually, and then keyframe it, and then oh, uh, just goes to start. I wasn't at the start. Uh, keyframe it at the start. And then go to where uh, the shockwave ends and change it to 1 point, oh no, 1 point eight, point 0.8, not, no, like this, as you can see, actually it should be 1.18, like this, just like that. And then go to the end and make it 0. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty much it, actually. Um, and I like to add a highlight pre-shake like this. And I just need to do something because it's kind of weird. Um, and then just make... So just like this. And then I'll have a nice pre-shake tool. Then just rent or mark all of it. Uh, including the clip actually um, and mark all of it and press render cache color output and wait for this line to turn blue all right now once it turns blue you will have something that looks like this this time I know I know Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, I hope it was helpful, and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow when I daily upload, and Merry Christmas, I'll see you.